China's military parades keep unveiling surprises, but this one felt straight out of science fiction. Robotic wolves, built not for zoos or movies, but for the battlefield. What are these machines? And why does Beijing call them the future of war? But before we have a look at this robotic mastery, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to let me tell you. These are four-legged, unmanned ground vehicles resembling mechanical wolves. They are agile, fast, and capable of carrying heavy payloads across rugged terrain. Unlike traditional drones, they don't fly. They hunt on land, and they can climb stairs, leap over obstacles, and even operate in tight city alleys. Chinese state media showed them working in packs, carrying rifles and grenade launchers. Their design suggests they could serve as mobile weapons platforms, scouts, or even explosive delivery systems. The symbolism matters. Wolves are known for pack hunting intelligence and endurance qualities. Beijing wants to showcase in its military tech. Unlike tanks or trucks, these robots can fan out swarm an area and coordinate with drones overhead, creating a multi-layer assault system. Imagine dozens of these machines rushing ahead, clearing buildings or pinning down enemy troops before human soldiers even arrive. China isn't the first to test robot dogs. The U.S. has spot from Boston. Dynamics and Russia has shown Kalashnikov-equipped quadrupeds. But China's wolf design appears focused on low-cost mass deployment. State reports suggest they can run at 15 kilometers per hour, carry loads of over 50 kilograms, and operate semi-autonomously with AI navigation. Some versions are even rumored to link with Beijing's 5G networks for real time battlefield coordination. Robot wolves might sound like toys, but they reveal a shift in modern warfare toward unmanned swarms and AI-assisted combat, combined with China's hypersonic missiles, cyber units, and laser systems. They show a doctrine that is no longer human, centric, but machine-centric. So are China's robot wolves, the military's new best friend, or just another high-tech stunt? For now, they symbolize a battlefield where the line between science fiction and reality is vanishing. What do you think? Will machines like these change the way wars are fought? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, too. Let me tell you, for more deep dive stories,